Hi there, this is the RPS Project and today I've got this. It's a Bush CD player. Um, it's from about 20 years ago. But it's not really working anymore. It seems to have given up the ghost. It still comes on. Trouble is it's not reading the CDs very well. Um, some it won't play at all. Others it'll play but then skip. Um, you know, it's a bit temperamental. The radio is yeah, it's okay. Sort of works. You know, you've got one of these little aerial things so not particularly brilliant and it does seem to get quite warm so I'm going to open it up and have a look inside and um, see what electronics looked like 20 years ago. So here you go as you can see what this nice stylish design of uh, box I suppose I mean it was a bit of a rage at one time to have these sort of supposedly slim type of CD players um, and they weren't cheap I mean I bought this in a sale about 18 19 years ago um, if I remember right it was like 25 30 pound UK money nearly 20 years ago um, and that was in the sale so this might have retailed for something mad a 70 75 pound or, or so so you know <laughs> That was, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of money back then, um, even though I did get it in a cell. As you can see, it's quite nice and sleek. You've got buttons on here for control, um, door opens, and it's quite a nice mechanism. Display down there tells you what it is. Power button, um, CD or radio, FM, MW. Um, you have a bass on and off, and then obviously your volume. You do even get a remote control with this, and actually, this buttons have stopped working so you can only use the remote control with it now. Um, power it on. I haven't got the speakers connected. You do get a pair of speakers. I might just open the back on these and see what's in them. I expect there is just a speaker inside there um, and nothing more. See so it's come up to try to tune into a radio station. Now the thing about this, IR sensor there, when it's on you've got this blue strip. I don't know if you can see that. There is a blue strip. Um, let me just turn it off, I don't know if, let me just turn this lamp off, there you go, perhaps you can see that now, it's like a blue LED strip, I bet there's an LED in there with a light bar that helps to spread it, that sort of thing they would have done, it's very subtle, but in the dark, or when it's darker, it, it does show up quite a bit, um, I quite like that, that's a nice little feature, um, yeah. There you go. So, anyway, and I noticed that the other thing about it, it did get, it does get quite warm on the power side. Uh, let's put it back on the standby and turn it off and unplug it. So now I can uh, take the back off. What's the model? Does it give me the model number? Yeah, there we go. It's a Bush LSD 31 stroke S. <sighs> Made for the UK market or European 230, 40 volts, 50 hertz. So let's stop messing around and get the thing opened up, eh? Screwdriver. Which one's going to fit? That go in. Number one Phillips. Yeah, that seems to work all right. Oh, so I should get me an old tray for dropping things in. A couple of transistors in there. Uh, next hole is... See, it gives you like, a lot of arrows as to where the holes are, so it makes it a bit easier. Very nice of them. Don't stuff like that anymore. These days they put screws in that they don't want you to take out. You know, all them funny heads and whatnot. So. Uh, I don't want you to open it. Ah, quiet. That one. Uh, come on out. Yeah, we'll get them to drop out in a moment. Undo them all. Yeah, it's been a nice little unit and it has played really quite well. Didn't really use the radio much. Um, 
just a CD player because uh, I've got a lot of CDs. So back at a time when CDs were the main music, you didn't have your downloads and stuff like you've got these days. It was all um, about what you had yourself, personal ownership of music. Come on out. Get this last one out. Never mind. Should have dropped out. Let's so try and take the top off. Or shall I try and take the back off? So, so. Which way is it going to go? Yeah, it's coming out that way. Uh, I've got a bit of tension on that to get it to come out. I think that is actually loose. Just got to get this to undo. Pries off. How's it coming off? Uh, okay. Ah, another screw I've missed, one at the back there. At least I've got the arrows to tell me that I've missed one. Brilliant. And there we go. The top is off. Well, the back's off anyway. All right, seems to be ah, the, um, the aerial connection. As was quite often the case with these, they put a little knot in it. <laughs> just knotted there so you can't you know put it through yeah, you just have to un undo the knot you know high grade technology no grommets just put a knot in it marvellous well there you go now now that's better now I can pull that through and ooh, Ah, well, I've got enough room in here. Uh, let's have a look. Well, wow. the screw's falling out on the floor now. That's the power. I have to be careful of them capacitors because obviously this has been on. And they'll be charged up. So. Well, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And, uh, now which way is it? That's the way. Because this board, I don't know if you can see it on this board, but there's, there's almost like a, like a corrosion on that. There, you can see it better there. Look at that. There is a definite sort of, oh, a bit too far. Yeah, find it, point for it. Come on, focus your bugger. Don't want to focus now, does it? I'll have to come back out and then get to focus. Not quite learnt how to use this camera properly yet, because it's oh no, a bit long. But yeah, look at that, you've got this sort of, I don't know, sort of a... It's almost like a... Uh, yeah, it's just a corrosion, like as if it was a dust of some sort but it's not dust it's it's a layer of something that's all over the board it's like the like it's corroded slightly on the edges it's quite bad there so I imagine this is not doing very well that's possibly why it's not playing as well as it should do uh, yeah um, that's the possible problem with it let's come back out there we go, got that, marvellous. Uh, yeah, there's there's not just one board here, that, that's the power board over there, so that seems to be a bit separate. So let's see if we can just get this bit off. I don't want to come out. There you go. Don't this has been taken apart since it was made. Old style radio tune, look at that. You just don't see that anymore these days, do you? That is just not what you expect. It's all digital tuning. 
some of this old style stuff. Look at that, wow, goodness me. Um, where are the next screws? Got another one here. And this wire here looks like it's the wire that comes through from the front board. Um, and of course, like I say, the, the wires, the buttons on the front board aren't working anymore. They just don't seem to do anything. So you have to use the remote. Hey, have you seen that? I've just noticed that there's a chip on here. And it's, it's this one over here. I'll just What I'll do is I'll pick this up and bring it to. I'll just point my thing at it and then pull the th this here. Is that what we're looking at? You can see it with the little black blob on. Keep your eye on that. That is actually a different board. Can you see it sits up from the rest of the board? It's actually like a little chip on a bit of board that's then been soldered onto the main board. So that is, that's, that's quite odd. Never seen that before. It's a bit different. You've got two main chips on here. Um, I can't really, well I can. They are an LA9242 and an LC7860. I've no idea what those are. I'd have to go and look it up and see if I can find out anything about them. Uh, can I get this board off? Will it allow it to come up? Not really, it's a bit... Somehow it's... Ah, yes, there's another screw hidden. Look there, there you go. I've hidden it away under there. So, take that off. And hopefully, Hope I can pick this board up, but you know it's not it's not coming up. Now we've got the radio part over here, but uh, hot hot glue. They <laughs> hot glued this wire onto there. That? Just can't quite for work out what else is stopping this from coming off. Perhaps it's these buttons. Perhaps the buttons actually have to come off the front there. I don't know if they, how easily they come off. Um, <coughs> fairly easy, and then they're flying around the uh, place. I have to go and find that. Yeah, that's what it is. These these three buttons on the front there. Have to go and retrieve that at some point, and. Underneath there. Well, yeah, oh my god, Will you look at that. I can't really get this over because there's so many wires in there. That is what we get. Yeah, my goodness me. This real look at that. You just do not see um, electronics circuits like that anymore. There are a mountain of capacitors on there. There's a an IC there of some sort, another one there, um, another one down there, uh, loads of transistors. So this is the main side of the board. That's the main workings. That's all the gubbins that's really going to be making this whole thing work. A little LCD supply, display there. Uh, one of these would be the drivers for it partly, I suppose. Um, and then we've obviously got the the mechanism for the CD runner, the, the board at the bottom here, which is full of capacitors and stuff, with a fuse, there's actually a fuse in there, didn't realise that, but there's a fuse on this board, that is my power board, um, it, yeah, and this transistor, I mean sorry, this transformer actually gets quite warm um, when this is on, um, it's always um, heating up, so it's always warm underneath there, so it's not very energy efficient I don't think, but yeah, that without taking it any apart anymore, that is inside there. Uh, um, wow, that is 20 year old electronics um, with lots and lots of mounted components, you know, discrete components. You didn't get all this surface mount stuff that you've got now. 
the only real sort of surface mount stuff are these two chips on the back there and this little board that's been added onto it which is just slightly odd. Old style radio tuner, absolutely brilliant but there is a level of corrosion on this that uh, is obviously going to render it useless. Top quality eh? So there you go, my old Bush CD player, it actually says Compact Disc Player Micro System. And actually it was quite a nice little unit and it worked reasonably well for its duration but as you can see from that board there's a level or layer of corrosion um, that's on there that's uh, it's a bit iffy now isn't it uh, but there's a mass of components on there all discrete components a huge array of capacitors on there absolute minefield uh, I'd hate to have to try and um, work out a circuit for that thing uh, but as promised <coughs> I said I'd uh, open up the speaker as well these speaker units stuck out the back up and actually quite interestingly there are two speakers on there you've got the main one on the bottom and then a little like tweeter one further up uh, which I wasn't expecting I was expecting it just to be one speaker they're both 4 ohm so as they're both 4 ohm they will be uh, you'd expect them to be in series well, it's coming in it's going to there I think they're in parallel actually looks like they are yeah I'd have to say that it seems to me that they are wired in parallel um, and a little capacitor on the top one just to help it out I expect I don't know if we're going to be able to see that if I try and come in there's a capacitor um, but yeah a couple of nice little speakers not bad actually um, so I could reuse this uh, these two speaker sets because um, I quite like them they're, they're, they're definitely reusable but the, um, the main CD player is definitely gone disappeared and uh, no longer usable anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't you know what to do subscribe and all comments are welcome see you next time